Hey, I'm Natalie. I'm Tara. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff, a show in which we try stuff for the very first time and hopefully encourage you to try new things too. And today we're going to make very, very, very small ice cream. We got sent this tiny ice cream kit by David Faith Thank you, David. for us to try. We also have done the tiny baking and it was so, so much cute. fun. Where is that? Is that here? Here? Yeah. I don't know. How do I still not know which side the slidey ID right. goes? Nope. River. I don't know. See? So we're just going to dive in here? Let's just dive in. Let's just dive in here. All right. Education, science, and tiny, tiny things. Let's see what we've got inside of these things. Tiny ice cream. 15 enormously. Tasty treats. Big science, tiny tools. I have to demolish, yes? Yeah, you have to kill the boxes in order to get things out of it. Ah, there really is no nice way to do that. Little tiny mixing bowl. I love the wee spoons. I have more tiny mm. tools than I have real tools in this house. <gasps> Basic ice cream recipe. Cup of cream, cup of half and half, tablespoon of white sugar, teaspoon of vanilla. Place the clean, dry canister in the freezer for about an hour before you make the ice cream. So mix the ice cream ingredients together and chill them in the refrigerator for 20 minutes before you start. So we'll put these canisters in the freezer. Okay. And then we will makey makey our ice cream and then we'll put it in the friggy friggy. Okay, okay, okay. And then while that 20 minutes is lapsing, maybe mm -hmm. we look at making our Cody waffle Cody's? cones? Yeah. yeah! So I like this plan. Hi, Orange Katie. Okay. Freezer. In. The medical term for brain freeze is spinliopalutin. That's disturbing. That's disturbing. I got it. I nailed that. The brain freeze reacts to the chilling effect of ice crystals. The pain is probably caused by blood vessels in the roof. What do you mean probably? Yeah. Don't give me probably. Vessels in the roof of your mouth that quickly tighten when the cold hits them. When they relax, the rush of blood through them causes the pain. The trick is to keep the frozen mixture from contacting the roof of your mouth. Where do I make this ice cream? Where are my actual instructions? Okay, so we're gonna do a fourth a cup. Fourth a cup of this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Four C cups a half and half. Four C cups a half and half. <laughs> One tablespoon of white sugar. Tablespoon. Half a teaspoon. Tea I don't think they're that small enough. Though. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. Oops. Why, thank you. You're welcome. All right, now, so I guess we got to mixy, mixy <sighs> Mix these. it. All right, I'm going to use my little mixing spoon to do this. This mixy spoon. Out of my way. Out of my way. <laughs> oh, he drank all that cream. Did he? Oh. <laughs> Oops, I did not. I'm going to regret that later. Yep. <laughs> okay, so then we need to move these into the fridge. I feel like it's stirred, right? I mean, yeah, it feels stirred for me. Yep, and then we move these into the fridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, while we're waiting for that mixture to kill, we're gonna make some waffles. Waffle cones. Six large wee spoons of egg. One. <laughs> oh my god, I remember this last time? Like, it was really hard to, like, I kept over or undering. Yeah, this is, I'm undering. I'm undering. I'm gonna have to do, like, one extra spoon. Three. Five. Five. Six. So now we need sugar, and that is six large wee spoons. Okay, so I'll get the egg off of my <laughs> wee spoon. <laughs> get, get the wee egg off the wee spoon. One, two, three, five. Okay. Use the tiny mixing spoon to whisk the egg and sugar together until the mixture is smooth and shiny. I'm gonna whisk this. But yeah, basically mix. I don't think it's gonna get I smooth. I don't. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Well, it's shiny, how about that? Yeah. So then we're gonna add milk, water, vanilla, salt to the egg mixture, mix all the ingredients together. So four large spoons of milk. Four. I'm gonna go ahead and mix Four tiny that spoons. <laughs> oh, that, see that? Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I spit all over everything because my hair was on my lip and it was tickling. <laughs> One wee spoon of water. Fourth a wee spoon, the smallest of vanilla. Vanilla. Pinch. Of salt. Pinch of salt seems like an awful lot, actually. Yeah. It does seem like a lot of salt. Add in the flour and melted butter. Eight and a half wee Eight spoons and a half. of flour. Half? <laughs> I just sat there and figured that half part out. Two large spoons of butter. These little bowls came in very handy. <laughs> yeah, they did. Two. Then we're gonna put the little silicone mats on a baking sheet. And that way they don't- Oh, it's batter! It is ridiculous. I do have post-it notes on them. Oh my god, it's so funny. Because Justin cannot be trusted. 
Lindsay. Do not use. <laughs> Measure one large wee spoon. Because we're making cones. Of the batter okay. uh -huh, into the mold. Spread the mixture evenly using the bottom of the spoon. Make sure the mixture is covering all the edges of the waffle mold. And only you're only allowed to do three or four. I'm gonna do four. Batter's maybe it's because of how long you have to actually make the cones. Ooh, maybe. That would make sense. You won't have time to get make time. that last you, cone. Yeah, good luck on trying to get to five and six. Yeah, maybe we just do them and leave the other ones flat. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, cause I just want to eat them. Yeah, cause what am I gonna do with this right, batter otherwise? Exactly. Place the cookie sheet in the middle rack of the oven. Bake for seven to 10 minutes at 300 degrees until the edges are golden brown and have pulled away from the sides of the mold. All right, into the oven. Come you with me. I put it in the oven. <laughs> Seven to 10 minutes happens now. Okay, 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 okay. What am I doing, what am I doing? Okay, what am I doing? now we take, we use our tiny spatula and we get it out of there. This and then we use our tiny cone roller and we roll it over carefully because they're hot. And, and then we hold the seal down. This on here, like see here. Okay, okay. And then and then try and press the, the seam together. And hold it for eight to ten seconds. So this is so fun. So tiny. One. Stay there. Did it. I'm okay. taking you out of here. I'm not making my life more hard. <laughs> Chat children, use a spatula. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do as I do. There we go, that's right. Oh my God, it's so tiny and cute, I love you so much. I know, I'm gonna start a store, open in a little ice cream shack on the side of the road. Oh, this one's too, 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 too hard too, now, yeah. yeah. That's Getting exactly there. why. Yeah, you can't get there fast enough. Can't get there fast enough, yep. Okay, that one's just for Eaton's. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. I'm getting greedy. Getting greedy trying to make this last one. Okay. All right. Now what? Now we, have we to make, make our ice, ice cream. cream. Okay. Remove the metal canister from the freezer and place it inside a sturdy bowl. Spoon about a fourth a cup of the chilled ice cream mixture into the metal container. Fit the lid with the dasher onto the metal container. It should tightly seal so no liquid oozes out the side. So people use words like dasher, dasher. like that's a real thing. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Get the in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Fill the bowl halfway with crushed ice, then sprinkle a tablespoon of salt over the ice. About two tablespoons of cold water over the salt and ice. Okay. 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 Add more crushed ice until it reaches the top of the metal canister. Cheese and rice, people, with the crushed ice. And then more salt on top of that ice. Mother of pearl. More salt. What more salt? Yeah. Holding down two tabs with one hand, begin to turn the crank, turn it slowly and in only one direction as your ice melts. As your ice melts, the freezing brine will get even colder. Keep turning the handle. You should begin to notice that the handle gets a little harder to turn at a, in about 15 minutes. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is exactly what happened last time with ice cream. What? Same thing with our butter when we were turning yes. butter. Yes. 15 minutes, yeah. it starts to get hard at 15 minutes. When this minutes. happens, start turning the handle a little faster. Your ice cream should be ready to another 10 to 15 minutes. When the handle gets stiff to turn, look through the lid of the ice cream maker. Your ice cream is ready when the volume of the ice cream has expanded to cover the dasher and the frozen cream begins to fill the lid. Oh, it's gonna fill this whole thing. Okay, that makes me happy. Also, what? <laughs> the very bottom, it's like, if you want, you can add the rest of your mixture into the canister to make more ice cream. After 30 minutes of this, no, I'm done. Why is my right, my left arm so tired? I, that, I was just thinking that, like my right arm is It's holding tired. it down. It's my like, left arm, I had to like change my hand movement. I will not be opening a tiny ice cream factory. <sighs> oh, stuff's happening. Whoa, Holy Jesus. look at this. Mine's not like that oh. at all. Mine's got like fret and frosty bits. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Your ice is melting down faster too. That might be, so they said as it melts, it gets colder. So uh, maybe. Oh, maybe. 
Oh wait, now I finally see something happening, but definitely not in anywhere near where you're at. Okay, I'm really close. Okay, so what's gonna happen next? Is mm -hmm. you're gonna pull the lid off. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use this to scrape it off the dasher. The tiny baking one was not as much manual labor. <laughs> but that'll help remember my tiny baking arms. Oh, right, oh my God, let's talk about that some more. Take it out of here, wipe off your brine. Take off my lid. And then scrape all this back into our container. Well, I'm still a bit soft, so be. Oh, yours is probably better because I might kind of have to really work to get this. I want all of it. I know, I like so every hard bit. for this. That's not I'm, I'm, not, I'm done doing that too. <laughs> for those of you who watch the show often, Natalie does hit a max point with things where it's like, <laughs> nope, I'm done. No, I'm not. I'm not I'm playing anymore. I don't care anymore. She'll be like, all in on the details for a really good no. long time. And then slowly that goes away. It's all okay. of my energy. <laughs> all right, let's put, put these. Put the lid back on maybe? Yeah, maybe. Put this back in the freezer. Yeah, let's put the lids on. Get a little bit of, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of firmness back in this world so we can actually scoop. Okie dokie. All right, we let it chill. We are back. It is time to chase the magic that is tiny. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's some ice cream. Oh okay. yeah, it's still a little soft, but honestly, I think it's, I need to probably stir it more. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But okay. I am not, I am not waiting on this guy anymore. Nope. nope. Okay, I'm gonna select my best cone. Which best is this cone. One. <gasps> there. <laughs> Look. I'm gonna eat it. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's try mm -hmm. our tiny work. That's good ice cream. <laughs> it's good. Ice it's cream. really tasty. The cone's fine. Wait, let me try to taste the cone. One bite. Mm -hmm. One bite. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You uh -huh. could customize mm -hmm. this. Actually, is this as easy it is to make waffle cones? Oh, apparently, yeah. I think I heard that the first waffle cone was actually someone who was like putting just ice cream inside waffles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they were just, like wrapping that. They ran out of cones. It was like at some world fair, mm -hmm. and they ran out of cups, so they just started doing that, and that's how it became a thing. Yeah, but also that's uh, that's the original story, but also not the real story. Oh, that's the real story. Oh, this is fun and cool and cute and neat. And that little booklet is full of all kinds of really fun, sciencey information and stuff. It's really neat. I like this. This is fun. Thank you, David Faith. Thank you. This, this was fun. fun. Now that I've gotten away from the manual labor portion of it, I am enjoying it again. All as well. If you got tiny kiddos out there, definitely get this. This is a lot of fun and very cute. Just mm -hmm. be prepared that you may have to do the hand cranking. Your yeah, top. your kid's gonna walk away. Yeah, they're <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna shut this down. I'm Tara. I am Natalie. And this was Natalie and Tara. Try stuff. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's gonna pop up right now for you to hit. Because mm -hmm. you should subscribe for all the fun. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I'm just getting my fingers in here. I'm just making more of a tiny mess. <laughs> <laughs>